In August 2020, it was announced that Coolmore Stud had purchased Wooden Bassett from Harrod at Etraham to stand at their Irish base. Year in, year out, Wooden Bassett sires a Group 1 winner and among his three-year-olds for this year is the exciting horse King of Steel, who is set to have a rematch with August Rodan in the King George. As we eagerly await his first Coolmore bred crop to hit the yearling sales, Mark Byrne tells us all about Wooden Bassett. It started in the summer of 2020 when we really started to take notice from him and um, he's basically how he can upgrade mares so, so well. He can get you a five furlong group one winner, he can get you a classic winner. Um, he's an outcross for a lot of our Galileo mares as well, which is an obvious solution to, for us as well. So it, it was so many different things that he was ticking along the way. Everyone was so positive on their temperament. Um, it was actually interesting to see the amount of Irish and English breeders that were sending mares across to him. Um, even when he was standing at the, the 6, 10 and 20 grand level, like the likes of, you can see there, the, the Marne family bred, the River Tiber that won the Coventry this year. So you could see that these guys were going ahead of the curve and uh, I suppose it helped us latch on eventually. If you had the manual on how to make a stallion, you may rip it up when it came to him because like Nicholas de Chambure, I'd say, um, when he bought him, he was in, like the champion two-year-old in France. Started off and he went, retired him to, to Harris Etraham. Um, he would have been, I'd say, delighted when he when he started to stand him, but he, he didn't, how would you say, get the market support that he saw because I think he only ended up with 23 odd folds or 25 folds from his first crop. But in that first crop, there was Al Manzor, who was a world champion. And for the last five years, he's produced a group one winner out of the last five crops. So he, he just keeps upgrading mares and, and hopefully the best is yet to come. There's been massive investment in Goomer Australia, be it the brood mares and, and, and the stallions that they sent, and it's no reason why not to. It's a brilliant farm, the brilliant producers, and in a, in a buzzing market as well that is Australia. Uh, they sent a lot of good stallions there recently, be it American Pharaoh, Justify, who's about to be crowned the leading first season sire down there. And we're going to hopefully now have Wooden Bassett to follow on as well. Before we've even had a, a foal, or his foals were just hitting the ground, they actually were able to increase his fees, such was the positivity about him. So, um, look, he's on a, a rising curve, so long may it continue. He's just a brilliant horse to work with, and that translates into the mind of his progeny as well. Like everyone always tells me that, like how good their minds are. You can do whatever you want with them, and um, so like I think that does translate into it. And like the good stallions take their chances, and he's taken all his chances that he's ever got from very very small chances. He, he's taken every one of them. If you're to take he, King of Steel as an example, like he's bred by an American farm, um, so you've got the international element coming back in there with him. He was very unlucky, or I was, I'm going to say we, we were delighted to get up and beat him on the day, but he, he looked like he hit the Derby one with a furlong to go, um, and that it was, like I'd say, it was a very, very good renewal of the Derby this year. He proved it was no fluke when he went on to Ascot. He won Group 2 as he wanted, um, and now he's joined favoured for the, the King George. So that's going to be a really exciting race, but it's a real testament to to what he's capable of because when we were looking at Wooden Bassett um, in the summer of 2020 we were actually the one thing we thought he might omit was was a two-year-old um, having a very good two-year-old but luckily Zelly came along and um, Alrifa came along subsequently as well and I was looking at time for him yesterday I think um, other than a couple of justifies he's three of the top five uh, highest rated two-year-old so it just shows you that Again, what I was saying about the versatility, like we're talking about a mile and a half three-year-old, but we're also talking about six, seven for a long two-year-old. So it's just, it's exactly what we need in Coolmore. You need to be able to get a horse that can be challenge a Dewhurst or a National Stakes, but at the same time, win a Guineas, win a Derby. And, and that's what we're all about here is, is trying to win those classic races at three.